With all due respect, I'm sure I can make Eri happier than you, Keiichi-san, who has finally graduated from that position, since I'm a university professor. Wait a minute. What you're saying is too sudden. What? No way! Why do you think that we should break up? Huh? Let me introduce him to you. He's Keiichi-kun, and he's going to be the vice president as of today. Hello. It's not our first time meeting each other. Wh what's going on? Hello? Eri, I got promoted. Yeah, I'm not an adjunct professor anymore. I'm thinking of having a party to celebrate the promotion. When are you free? My name's Keiichi. I used to be an adjunct professor at the university. Head chef! This is very delicious. My girlfriend should be here soon. I've been dating Ari, who works as a clerk at the university for two years. With this promotion, I'll be more financially stable, and I'm thinking of proposing to her. I'm sorry to make you wait. Who's that guy next to you? Hello, nice to meet you. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you very much. He's Takuyaku, and he's a professor at a university. I teach Asian studies. And I'm also a coach for our rugby team. Takuyaku's rugby team has been number one in Japan for five years in a row. They're still going to win more competitions for sure. Wow. Oh, I love rugby as well. Are you Aerie's friend? No, I'm her boyfriend. What? Huh? Uh, hey, you didn't have to say all that. No, I think it's better if I said it clearly. I'm a professor at a university, and I have a stable career. With all due respect, I'm sure I can make Eri happier than you, Keiichi-san. Who has finally graduated from that position as an adjunct professor? Wait a minute, what you're saying is too sudden. Wait, does that mean you were two-timing me? No, actually, we were planning to go out with each other. Right after Eri broke up with you, Keiichi-san. I was actually going to break up with you on my own, but Takuyaku insisted to come as well. What? No way! Why do you think that we should break up? That's because we have different educational beliefs. I heard this from Eri that you value effort and process. But for me, results are everything. Results are everything? Exactly! Your efforts will all be pointless if you don't get the results that you want. But behind those efforts, I'm sure you go through so many things and... Excuse me, but with all due respect, because you only valued on making efforts and being easy on yourself that at 30 years old, you were finally able to get out of that position as an adjunct professor, don't you think so? If you focus more on achieving good results, you were just satisfied with the current situation and only making efforts, so that's why you're only at that level. Th that's not true! Anyway, KG, your way of thinking is too naive. I can trust Takuyaku more. Eri. Well, that's how things are, so goodbye. Goodbye. Leave Eri to me. How could this happen? My promotion party turned into a heartbroken one. I continued to eat sushi all by myself, feeling awkward. Then, I got a call from someone. Hello! Congrats on your promotion! Her name is Nagisa. She's my childhood friend. Are you having dinner with your girlfriend by any chance? No, uh, actually... Nagisa works as a counselor at a university. She's really kind, so I always end up relying on her. Will you hear me out? Yeah, sure. Head chef, may I have the bill, please? Nagisa took the time to listen to what had happened. Her kindness really touches my heart. Thanks to her, I was able to move on and go to my new workplace the next day. A few days later... Move more! You'd better not take any breaks! Run faster! Sir! The president wants to see you! The president wants to see me? All right. Practice on your own until I get back. Yes, sir! Oh? Eri, you were called in as well. Huh? Yes, I was. 
I didn't know you were called in too, Takuya. This is unusual. Are we getting interviewed for TV or something? Please excuse me. Oh, Takuya-kun, thanks for coming in. What? Let me introduce him to you. He's Keiichi-kun, and he's going to be the vice president as of today. Hello. It's not our first time meeting each other. I didn't realize you and Erisan worked at the same university, Takuya-san. What? What's going on? No way! Why are you the vice president? You just used to be an adjunct professor, and... Actually, my father used to be the president of this university a few years ago. I was going to work here at this university after gaining experience in the field. Eri, you didn't know about this? Of course I didn't. If I had known, then... Well, it's a shame. I was about to tell you all about it at the promotion party that time. I can't believe this is happening! I heard everything about it, you know. The things you said were all so rude, Takuya-kun. Whatever Keiichi-san's position was, you should have refrained from saying things like that. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. But this isn't the main issue we need to discuss about. Please have a seat. Actually, a former member of the rugby team who's a graduate of this university has come to me to consult about how tough the trainings were and how you coach and instruct the members. Okay, I see. Does that ring any bell to you? If you're trying to test me, please don't. I do believe that my trainings are tough, and I'm strict, and I do say harsh things to them. But the only purpose is so that we can achieve good results. You only focus on trying to achieve good results, which is why the trainings are very tough. If you're asking me about something specific, then please make it clear. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to question any specific event or situation. Then I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't interfere with how I coach the members as well as my educational belief. And we are actually getting some good results here. The Vice President and I have different ways of thinking. But if you're asking me to change my way of thinking as a means to apologize for what happened with your personal life, I'd never change the way I think. That's not what I'm trying to do. But the fact is that there are members of the club who are complaining that the trainings are difficult for them. I want you to think about that and reevaluate the way you coach the team. They're graduates, right? The people who are complaining. They're not even parents. They're just making a big fuss out of it. Th that's right. I believe so too. So you're saying that there's no issue with the current situation? Yes, I'm always willing to listen to their problems and I've heard them out many times as well. Please, trust me. All right, I'm sorry for asking you to come here like this. It's not a problem, sir. I need to talk to you, Erisan, regarding your clerical work. That's just the petty revenge, isn't it? I mean, who was the one complaining anyways? Which graduate? Hmm. Even after that meeting, there was no change in the rugby team's training and practices. The members were going through the tough trainings as usual. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Don't just give up by something like that. Uh, I'm sorry. The other guys are standing up fine. Jeez, if you can't even take a tackle. He's the brother of the graduate who consulted me about the rugby team's training. I see. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Yes. I'm also concerned about the other team members' behaviors. We'll have to watch them carefully. There's a tournament next week. We might get a clue or something then. Yes, maybe. A week later, our team took on the first round of the national tournament. Since they were a strong team, they won the game easily. Although we won, we have a lot to reflect on. We won't be able to win the national tournament six times in a row if we continue on like this. Excuse me, may I have a word? What do you want, Mr. Vice President? Thank you for all your hard work. I love rugby, and I came to watch the game today. But I was a bit concerned. I thought there were a lot of fouls from our team. 
As I was saying regarding that, that's something that this team needs to reflect and learn from. I mean, why are you, an amateur, butting into our meeting here? But this team has been getting warnings from the refs every game for the past year or so, right? I think there were a few plays today that could have led to major accidents. Well, we'll fix that in the future. Is this something we should be discussing about at this timing? Why can't we just discuss this privately? No, I want to ask the students. Are you all enjoying the game with these fouls? There is no way they'd enjoy that. Then please, play a fair game without any fouls. I understand, but we're playing within the rules. We won't be able to get any good results if we're just always intimidated by the other teams. Isn't it because you're the only one thinking about getting good results that the students here have no choice but to play the way you tell them to? Please stop being rude. Please don't demotivate them by saying things like that. I apologize. Then, for the next game, please make sure to play a fair game with less fouls. Of course. Now, please leave. We're still in the middle of our meeting. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. That man has recently been appointed as the vice president. He's an amateur at rugby. Cut him some slack, all right. Hmm. How was the game? Hmm. There were a lot of penalties and a lot of fouls. Oh, is that so? I can't really stick my nose into everything. But if we don't do anything about it, I have a feeling that something terrible will happen. Yes, you're right. We can't just let that happen. Why don't we just leave it to someone else? Your position as the vice president would get in the way, right? I know, but I just can't turn a blind eye to it, especially since now I'm involved. You're really a hard-working person, huh? Harry sounds crazy to let go of such a hard-working person like you. You think so? I think this is normal. If you ever told Arison about you being the vice president, you probably would have been pushed around by her. Take it easy, okay? Nothing's more important than your own health and body, okay? Thanks, Nagisa. Not at all. I'll do what I can on my end as well, just in case. The rugby team continued to play really rough after that. Takuya continued to watch the game without giving any warning to the members. <gasps> <gasps> Nobody's here anymore, huh? There's no way I can get better even if I train more than anyone else like this. At this timing here... Hmm? I hear someone's voice? Aim at this part of your opponent. That way you won't get a foul. Only think about crushing your opponent. Be sure to follow barely within the rules. What? Coach! Tomonori! Did you just see that? Yeah. Yes, sir. You didn't see it though, right? What? Your team was supposed to go home right after the practice, right? Uh, I was just practicing on my own. I see. Don't tell anyone about this. Well, it's not like anyone's going to listen to your opinion, though, especially since you're the bench warmer. <sighs> it's exactly what the vice president said. What did you say? This is just messed up. Even my brother said that. He said that some of the members of the team are playing rough. Oh, no. Don't tell me that your brother was the one who complained to the vice president. That's enough! I knew it. I heard everything. So you were the one who took the initiative and ordered the members to play against the rules. Huh? huh? That's right! He was teaching them to do fouls. Against the rules? I told him to play barely within the rules. So what's the problem? Achieving results is important. But you shouldn't make any mistakes during the process when achieving those results. Excuse me? Rugby is a contact sport. Not to mention, the other team members can get hurt. As an educator, it's wrong to encourage any dangerous methods to the students. Then it's okay to do anything but those dangerous methods, right? 
That's... That's what you're implying though, right? No, you're wrong. Doing whatever it takes just to achieve results like that isn't good in terms of the student's education. Teaching or coaching them in the right way with the right process. That's what professors and teachers are for, right? Actually, some media outlets and other universities are questioning about our team's play. If we don't do anything about this, it's really going to affect our students after they graduate our university. Th that's If you really think that results are everything, then please try to achieve results that everyone can be convinced with. Students or schools aren't there just so you can force your beliefs on them? Uh -huh. Th then, let me tell you something. What was I doing in the first place that wasn't teaching them to play against the rules? Excuse me? I was only teaching them how to play as a team. Do you even have any proof that I was teaching them to play against the rules? Th that's... How can you say these terrible things about me just because of those allegations? Yeah, that's right. I'll report this whole incident to the president. That you put me on the spot with your own biased opinion. Great. Looks like it all got recorded. Hmm? Huh? I thought this would happen, so I've set up a camera. What? I'm sure that everything was all recorded on here. No way! First, I'm going to announce to the public about your coaching methods and our team's withdrawal from the tournament. If the public agrees to your method and disagrees to your withdrawal, or in other words, if everyone thinks that your way is really the right way, then I'll step down as the vice president. Very well. Good job, Tomonori-kun. It's exactly what your brother mentioned about you. Huh? He told me that you're honest and a hard worker compared to anyone else, and that you'd never allow things like this to happen. Your brother was the one who consulted me. Oh, I had no idea. And like this, our rugby team announced its official withdrawal. When the reason was announced for the withdrawal, Takuya, as the coach, was constantly criticized by the public. As the university, we apologized to the public and decided to keep the club alive, promising to play fair in games from now on. Then, Takuya chose to quit the university on his own. He probably couldn't stand the harsh criticisms from those around him. Eri also dumped him and there was nothing he could achieve from this. I'm Takuya and I'll be teaching social studies as your part-time teacher, starting today. Nice to meet you all. He became a part-time teacher at a high school, but his students laughed and made fun of his educational belief, which only focused on achieving good results. So he seems to be extremely upset about that. He was also unpopular with the students' parents, and eventually, he lost his teaching job, so he's now working part-time as a day laborer. After dumping him, Ari also tried to find another man, but she seems to be having a hard time finding a man for her. She used to work as a clerk at the university, but she was being unprofessional at work and she eventually quit. She couldn't find a new job that easily. So all the more reason that she couldn't find a man good enough for her. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hey. Can I ask you for an advice once in a while? Yes, of course. Is it okay if it's something personal? Well, as long as you don't mind, Nagisa. How should I treat someone who's my childhood friend and won't pay any attention to me? Are you talking about me? I'm just joking. You're freaking out too much. With everything that happened, it gave me an opportunity to be close with Nagisa. We're working in the same university, and we all have a bright future ahead of us. And I'm going to be the coach for our rugby team. Nagisa will also be supporting me as the team's manager. So I'm sure that we'll be even more closer than ever. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel.